Good morning. It's me, Mikey freaking Pipes. It's Dolly. <laughs> and Gigi. Hi, Gigi. Going for a morning walk? Oh, uh, let me tell you something. After yesterday's Fujitsu and previously installed and reinstalled Fuj uh, Mitsubishi install, about four hours in the hot tub and half a bottle of Grey Goose, I did not want to wake up this morning. Nope. I didn't want to do it. So I hit the snooze from 5.30 till yeah, about 15 minutes ago, which is 6.30. <laughs> it's Friday. TGIF. All right, guys. Quick little intro. By the way, like Bob Barker says, make sure you spay or neuter your animals. <laughs> Oh, let's get going. I got hired by the new owner to test this, the radiant in the foyer rear part of the house that just got demoed. So a couple observations. Number one, with PEX, radiant, you don't want anything like that. You don't want any couplings or joints. You want continuous continuous loop from point A to point B. If you're gonna do this, wrap it with something because the cement will eat away that brass. All right. So let's go down to the boiler and get her started. And that is definitely low clearance. I did it. But we've been here before too. Alright. Steam boiler. Right. Interesting how they made this work. But it works. It works. It would be nice to put an elbow in and drop header, but we'll do we'll do one of those on Tuesday. A Burnham Steam Max. It'll be on the Mikey Pipes channel. Make sure you check it out. I'll put a link right there. <sighs> okay, so, TGIF. Very, 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 very simple, right? We have a call for heat. See? We should have 24 volts to the gas valve. Make sure we have pressure. Make sure our damper's open. Which it is, and if the damper's open, let's just make sure that the switch is set to automatic, which I can't tell right now. Very dim, illuminated. What the hell? What's up with this? I chopped a hole in here for something. Hmm. But one thing that's lacking in this room is proper combustion air. All right. Even if this was, was window didn't exist, you still need one. Oh, the leakage here too. Let's see what we got leaking there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. That's the wet return. She leaking, she's leaking, mama. Okay. Freaking tired, I swear. Oh God. Yesterday's Fujitsu really wiped me. I've been drinking a lot of sweet, drinks so there's a screw right there looks like someone really tried taking that already but i'm gonna take my screwdriver let's see oh it came out okay so i'll take the screw out all these burnums these es i mean the series two it's a shipping screw we don't need it anyway Mind you, I have the power on. So if I take that little rollout switch right there and touch a piece of metal to it, I'm going to short out the transformer. Just right there, right? So I got that off to the side. I have my little lighter here. This is a cool little, little butane fueled lighter, a little flexible. You know, it's bent for her, bent for her pleasure. Let's see. <laughs> and 
we're gonna light the pilot. All right, let's see if I can do this one-handedly. All right, one-handed. One hand on the camera, one hand holding on the pilot. But here, I got that turned to pilot. See? See pilot? It was there, which is on. But now it's pilot. And it's, if, I'm, if it's on pilot, I can push down on the red plunger. All right, like that. So this is actually turning out to be a how to light your effing pilot. <laughs> so pushing down the red button, take a lighter. And we have pilot flame. Now we're going to hold this down. All right, for about 60 seconds. Okay. In 60 seconds, while I let go of this, that flame should stay on. Now, in case you're wondering, how does this work? Like these pilots and things like that. Let's say you're a brand newcomer. You're a newbie. You're a newbie to this, right? What's it right in front of you? This thing right here? This is called a gas valve, okay? We have the gas utility. The gas could be, uh, you know, um, LP, or it could be propane. I'm sorry, propane or natural gas. Um, every, you know, my location, we just have um, natural gas. You know, there's once in a blue moon, maybe in Levittown, you'll see someone that has LP, with a big giant tank on the side of their house, you know, for cooking and maybe for heating. But anyway, gas comes in and gas leaves and it feeds these burners, you know, fuel. This copper looking thing, that's called a thermocouple. The end of the copper thing sits in the pilot flame. And there's two bisimilar metals there, or by dissimilar, whatever they're called. They heat up and they send a small electric charge, a millivolt charge, to the gas valve. Now, when I'm pushing down this red button right here, I'm actually holding open and pushing down on a, a magnet and like a solenoid, right? I'm holding it down. And eventually, enough electrical, enough, enough millivolts coming from that pilot flame Right, we'll hold that. Now, so watch what happens when I let go of the red button. It stays on, right? Because there's enough voltage coming from that pilot flame holding open the magnet that I was pushing down and now letting gas flow through. Pretty cool, huh? If, it, if, if you uh, let this go after a minute and it doesn't stay on, it instantly goes out, chances are, and usually nine times out of 10, not 99% of the time, but nine times out of 10, it's just the, what I call the pilot flame sensor. It's like thermal couple, right? And they come in different sizes, but 36 is generally what I carry. It's good enough for 100% of the systems we work on, all right? So now the pilot is on. Now, just for safety, I am going to put the combustion tray door back at the place. Right, being careful not to take this and touch something metal, to because there's voltage there going through it. Right, is that in place? Okay. Now I'm going to take this gas valve and I'm going to turn it to on. And if there's a call for heat, it would have ignited the pilot flame. I mean the uh, the main burner, but my pilot's still lit. I can't tell. Huh, no shit. It went out. <laughs> right? It went out. So, one-handed again. It's odd. So nothing's coming out of this gas valve. What is this? Curious. Even gas here. Let's see. There's no fucking gas. <laughs> what the fuck? <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying. There's no gas. Look at that. I bet you the meter's locked. Let's close that. I bet you there's no gas. It's just not thorn bushes. Gas is off. <laughs> Look, there's the locking cock. It's off. <laughs> it's not that it's turned. It's not that it's the service is locked, which is a good thing. But someone turned off the gas.
All right, so apparently the guy working turned up the gas to make a connection. So he's turning it back on. You know this is gonna go. <laughs> Fucking blow the house up. No, hopefully not. Got it back on? You gotta show him. You just had your hand. Well, let him do it. No. Boss man. This is good for documentation purposes. They did it. It wasn't me. All right. Let's see how this works out. See how I feed you people. It's good? Guess it's back on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I have a lot of effing fun doing what I do. And I make a boatload of cash doing it at the same time. All right. Oh man, I gotta lay back down on this effing floor. All right. Uh, back to where we started from, right? And you're gonna say Mikey Pipes, you're gonna like the other ones? Nope. Uh, wasn't me. So. Oh, shit. I gotta connect the gas back up. Oh, I know I should have worn my gloves. Come on. Oh, come on, baby. Don't let me down. There we go. There we go. Oh. In my hands in the form of pipe dope. And this is not the right way of doing it either. You should be holding back, right? But I just want to get this on and make my 225. Okay. So, in case you're wondering why did it stay lit before? Because when they turn that gas off, you still have some residual gas in there. But, Houston, now we have Pilot. Oh, and oh, and not the pilot in the sky flying the planes, Leon. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Leon. I'm talking about you. When your mama... Oh, went out again. Leon, you know I'm talking about you. Take two. When your mama bought that house in Jamaica, Queens, that two-family house, right? And then you were living there. Remember that? About, I want to say about 12, 15 years ago. Remember that, Leon? Brown boy. And you called me and I asked you, because you had no hot water. And I asked you, there's a pilot. You see a pilot in the boiler room. <laughs> Leon! What was your answer, Leon? Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think Leon said when I asked him if he saw a pilot in the boiler room? Now, keep in mind, it's a two-family house, brand new construction in Jamaica, Queens. right? So in the hood, but it was a brand new house in the hood. Across from a water treatment facility. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think he said when I asked him if there was a pilot in the boiler room for the water heater? All right? Keep in mind, we have a boiler for the first floor, boiler for the second floor, water heater for the first floor, water heater for the second floor. Everything's brand new. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the pilot for a boiler. Okay? Leon's answer... Drum roll, please. Leon's answer when I asked him, was there a pilot for the water heater? Yep. If you're a, an active viewer and subscriber of the Mikey Pipes Pipe Doctor um, YouTube channel, you're going to know that, and I'm sorry I'm going to do this to you, Leon. He actually asked me, 
You mean like a pilot flying around? <laughs> In the boiler room? <laughs> I swear to God, I kid you not. Matter of fact... Just in case you think I'm bullshitting you, we're gonna give him a call. So you're, you're gonna be on the Mikey Pipes um, uncensored channel today. Ow. <laughs> you remember when your mama bought that house in Jamaica, Queens? Uh huh. You remember how you called me about uh -huh. the, the hot water? And I asked yeah. you, is there a pilot in the boiler room for the yeah, water heater? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah. and what did you tell me? Where's the, what's the pilot or something? Where's the pilot? Is that the pilot that flies in the sky? <laughs> you see, ladies, I am putting you on. I'm exposing the truth because where's the pilot? Bro? Where's the pilot that, that flying where's around the, the sky? Fucking flies in the air. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, brown boy. You're the best. Yo, I love you too. You want want to come? What, you want to come through this evening? Can't guarantee a thing right now. I got a lot of run runs to do. I'm off today. Oh. But I got a lot of run, run, run runs to do. But I'll confirm you later. Okay, make sure it's not being but, Diane's bitch. Because, you know, I'm, I'm a man of my word. And also, yo, those girls, they want some pipe, bro. Oh, the other, oh, the, the. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Are you there? I'm here, I'm here. She wanted some pipe. She, she, she actually wanted a rotisserie chicken. Yeah. From, oh, from, uh, from, 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 um. From from Boston, from Boston chicken, white chocolate. That was funny. <laughs> All right, brown boy, let me run. I will talk, talk later. I love you, bro. <laughs> I keep it real, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, I always keep it real. All right, I got my HIK Micro B twenty. By the way, thank you HIK Micro for being a sponsor, corporate sponsor of the Mikey Pipes Pipe Doctor YouTube channel. Let's take a look at the floor. Look at that. There's the floor. Okay. You can start seeing it a little bit under the tile. Okay. There we have it there. Okay. We have circulation. You can see the, that also restricts flow. We are working. Perfect. And if you would like to get one of these, I've made, not no exaggeration, I've, my company has generated probably use of thermal imaging cameras, probably over a million dollars of revenue from having these things. Seriously. You could find refrigeration leaks on coils with this because it shows you a picture of temperature. Right, um, heat exchangers. Um, you know, it just, it's just it's just a, so much. It's crazy. But this is the HIK Micro. This is their B twenty. Um, you can get this on Amazon. I think it's like eight hundred bucks or six hundred bucks. Not bad. Um, but my first thermal imaging camera was the FLIR i seven, and I gave that to Daniel because uh, he deserves it. All right, let's wrap these things up around here. We've proven that. Let me document it on my invoice. And let's go over to the next and jump in the pool.